in 1987, a guy knew in Toronto with whom he and I and another guy, neither of them Jewish, had started a sort of, eh, kind of like a, well, it was a band, but, you know, doing some klezmer and some, like, Yiddish, old Yiddish novelty songs and comic songs. He'd actually been on the list and had been to Klez camp. I don't know whether in 85 or 86. And he told me, he said, like, Wax, you got to go to this thing. This thing is made for you. Uh, and I did, you know, I, I paid money, I sent in a check, uh, came down, he also came with, and I, I didn't know any of the people here. I knew who some of them were because Capella, for instance, had already had a record out and stuff, but I, I didn't, I wasn't acquainted with any of them. I'd heard some of the records, that was about it, but I got to meet people, and when I first came to, to Klez Camp, uh, I was bored uh, because it was mostly, you know, it was really narrowly, uh, much more narrowly about music and I don't play an instrument. And the only other thing to do in the daytime if you weren't taking instrumental classes was to go to Yiddish classes, which I really didn't need, you know, quite seriously. I didn't need an English, a uh, Yiddish class anymore than I needed an English class. So I was bored and began to amuse myself in ways that probably were better left unsaid. But I ended up one night singing spontaneously the old Louis Jordan song, Caldonia, uh, in a Yiddish translation that I was making up as I went along. Because uh, there, there is a Yiddish word that's also the title of a well-known play by Avram Goldfaden, and Caldonia is a witch. Uh, so based on that, and after that, I had suddenly lots of new friends.